Still some of this thing inside him. I see. I think I can clear it out of him. But only if I go to the source. I'm going in with you. Spider-Man. All of this dark matter should lead us toward him. Alright. On my way. Where are we anyway? We are inside Spider-Man's mind. You've seen what those creatures do to people around the city. They get in your head. Twist your desires. Mad they stole your routine? I know you're joking, but you're making my point. This thing fears my power for some reason. And I, we, are the only ones who can find where it lives. So we clear this thing out at the root, and Spider-Man's free? That's in fire. It has a stronger hold on him than I thought. All right. Weaken the symbiote take back control, use our powers to save Spider-Man. Where do we start? We have to find the source of his pain. Follow me. I'll try and lead you to where it's darkest. But I can't promise what we'll find. Spider-Man would think about this place. Most of us are here because of him. Down here, I think I found something. I think 
Them all. The problem solved. That's not what Pete thinks. No, but it might be how he feels. All these villains. He really thought the suit could solve it all. Is that me? You caused a lot of pain, man. A debt I will spend the rest of my life repaying. There's something up ahead. You're close. May's house. I haven't asked Pete about her in a long time. What's wrong with me? When you get caught up in one part of your life, it's easy for the rest to fall away. Home. Come here. Oh, man. Balance is a process, not a destination. It is her. She's dead because of you. I never meant for her to get hurt. This is your chance to make it up to her, then. Does have the same effect in here. Yeah. I guess it does. <laughs> Looks like a red feast. I built my life around this place. This will probably be the closest I'll ever get to seeing the inside of it again. Not that I deserve to. Lee, why did you do it? What did you want? Revenge. Norman Osborne's the reason my parents are dead. So I dedicated my life to making his. I'm sorry, Miles. Up there. That's the source. If we clear this out, we just might be able to save him. I can transfer all of my power into the symbiote. I think I can neutralize it. And free Peter. What'll happen to you? I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> well, if this is my last chance to say anything to you, Forgive you. 
It's just not in me. But I can't carry this hate for you anymore, man. So let's set things right. You and me. like this. Why didn't you give me this power sooner? I could have used it. I didn't give you those. You didn't? Time. I'm not sure I'd make a convincing hero. Well, no, until you try. like it had an effect. Wait, you two work together? I wasn't about to let you die. Miles, that's... After so many times saying it, thank you seems soft. It's okay. I know. I don't deserve that kid.
big guy. Let's try this again. <laughs> I thought we lost you. Guess I should thank you. I spent years of my life consumed with vengeance. I lost everything for it. You two reminded me that that's not who I am. When you help someone, you help everyone. Where are you gonna go? Set things right. Your way. Wow. Reforming your greatest enemy. Can't say I've ever done that. Maybe MJ was right. Why would the city need me when it has you? <laughs> I don't know. This city still looks like a two-Spider-Man job to me. Let's get out of here. Any sign of Harry? Not yet! Ran into a speed bump! I think Miles just saved my life! What? What happened? There was symbiote left inside of me. It started taking over, but Martin Lee gave me his power. It feels different. Like the voices are gone, but the power is still there. That's incredible. And Pete, just wanted to let you know, I got my byline pulled off that article and gave my landlord notice. Does that mean? It means... If the world is going to get turned into an alien wasteland, there's no one I'd rather be gooed up with than you. Oh, feelings mutual. <laughs> Keep an eye out for Harry. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Okay, while I look for Harry, I should see what else needs some spidey help. Another nest. Never gets easier.
we were trying to move the gallery pieces when they attacked. That artwork may be valuable, but not as valuable as your lives. Stay safe. Miles and get over there quick. Miles, meet me at Connor's lab. I think Harry's there, and it doesn't sound good. On my way. Should be a shortcut to Connor's lab near Central Park. I've got to find a way to get through to Harry. He's in there. I know I can reach him. Just hope he doesn't hurt Connor's. Another nest. This one was rough. It's the heart of the nest. Need to move that car. Sonic Burst's ready. I'm... sort of... Need to move that car. Man, these things are tough! Take care of yourselves, okay? I think that's another nest. Okay. Calming breath.
Thanks, Spidey. You got it. Find an indoor gym till it's safe out here. In the midst of the most unprecedented time in modern history, a hero rises to change his costume? What award show is Spider-Man hosting that he feels the need to change his outfit so frequently instead of providing any kind of meaningful assistance to the authorities? I don't know what his game is, but he seems to be more preoccupied with his wardrobe than the impending doom this city faces. As these creatures terrorize the streets, take comfort in knowing that the Spider-Men have sleek new outfits to wear to make sure they look their best for the end of the world. Has it ever been clearer? They do not care about us. Selfish, egotistical, sociopaths. I'll tell you. In all my years, I would have not guessed that this is what I'd be reporting on as the world ended around us. But life is unpredictable. The only thing we can count on is the Spider-Man only doing what's best for them. Nest. Those things are brutal. You can do this, Miles. safe now. Take a breather, and when you're ready, get inside. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's a nest. I better check it out. Two hearts again? <sighs> okay, I can do this. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> to an ambulance in no time. I really appreciate it. Thank you.
Almost there! Well, uh, there. I'll be around. You're all set. And I hope the worst is over now. You're amazing, Spider-Man. Thank you. It's a nest. I better check it out. Okay, let's make some noise. Another nest. These things freak me out.
Spider-Man. Whoa! That was messed up! Are you a doctor? No, an EMT. Spider-Man was hitting you pretty hard. Hey, if that's what he had to do to get it off me, I'm grateful. Nobody's winning that fight. Better jump in. All right, I'll take it from here. All of them? Beautiful. Ah! Another nest. This never gets easier.
these things are tough! Another nest. Last one was rough. Sonic bursts ready. I'm sort of. Nest. Time for the city to start healing. Come from. That's all of them. Norm. 
Roman, what are you doing? What do you do with that thing? I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the symbiote. How? By killing the host. Please, save my boy. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these... things. I'm on it. Stay safe out there. All he needed was that meteorite. Now he can heal the world. This isn't what we meant. <laughs> <laughs> 